Now, it's going to be a busy few weeks for embattled ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashul. He plans to sit down with ANC veteran Matthews Porsa on Friday. And then next week, it's tea with former President Jacob Gelechegi Zuma, and then a meeting with President Cyril Ramaphosa. Mahashul is one of those affected by the party's step aside rule. He has 30 days to step aside because he's charged with fraud. In fact, now he's got less Govan Whittles. Let's welcome you now from the newsroom. If we count from the days that resolution was, uh, that final decision was made by the ANC. He now has less than 30 days. Now, the SG is giving some clarity, I understand, uh, Govan, uh, about uh, his imminent departure from the SG's office. What did he say? Yeah, he has about 20 days left now, Brad Dan, and he's indicated that his departure from the Secretary General's office at the ANC's headquarters is by no means a signed and sealed affair. Um, today we spoke to him and he gave us some insight around his thinking and also around his timetable in terms of meeting that 30-day deadline. What's interesting here is that he hasn't begun consultations with the former TG Matthew Sposa yet um, and he also plans to meet with former President Thabo Mbeki as, the ANC, as well as the ANC's former Deputy President and Secretary General his predecessor, Khalema Mutlante. Um, and uh, those discussions, he says, will have a bearing on his decision to step down. But at this point, it does appear as if Ace Mahashule is heading for suspension, Bradan. That, as his supporters and allies continue to agitate for him to stage some sort of fight back, while uh, his detractors obviously insisting that he should go. But let's have a look at his short comments regarding those consultations and what will take place. I've said uh, we are consulting and I'll finally meet with the president of the ANC, Comrade Cyril Ramaphosa. And I said the internal processes of the ANC must be left to the ANC, as the TG of the ANC has said. He's continued, I understand, uh, government to defend uh, radical economic transformation. What did he say about that? He's defended it as a policy of the ANC, and of course we've seen some debate within the party about the policy being hijacked by his supporters to agitate for some sort of divisions. Um, and the policy of radical economic transformation has essentially been co-opted into this group which finds itself supporting Ace Mahashule. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we see an organization or campaign emerging outside of the ANC called Defend Our Democracy, which is by and large representative of the president's interest within the National Executive Committee. So they've stacked up these two groups against each other. And Ace Mahashule today um, responding to some criticism of the RAT group saying it's a policy of the government and it must be implemented. Let's have a look at what he had to say. Economic transformation is the policy which was adopted at NASRAC. You can't actually change it and turn it around and call it something else. The economy must be in the hands of African people. There is no country in the world where the majority are not actually the owners of the economy. South Africa must change for the best, and I think the women leadership of this country, the women's league, can actually play that important role to change the lives of our people. The leadership of the church can still play that role of ensuring that our people are now living in a better South Africa. That, that dream which Mandela and many others, and Charlotte Mateke, had for South Africa, the dream of making sure that all of us get out of abject poverty, that dream must be realized. And it cannot take many years. It must be a dream which must be realized today, not tomorrow.